9-10 now. And coming up, a suit fit for a king. The men who gave Elvis his personal style. They're going to tell all. Making him look fly. All right, they are famous for clothing a king, the king of rock and roll this morning, Hal Lansky, joining us. Uh, the Lansky Brothers, that downtown store best known for clothing uh, Elvis Presley. And, um, so you guys are still in business after all these years. Well, we, we've been in business nearly 65 years. Yeah. And uh, everybody always asks us, Hal, when are you going to write a book? When are you going to tell us a story? Well. So we finally did it, and our new book is uh, Lansky's uh, Clothing to the King. Uh, yeah. We've been... Uh, uh, wanting to do it for a long time, and we, we did it. Uh, nine, nine months uh, of labor, and we, we got it and ready, ready to sell it. That is yeah. a great picture on the cover. Uh, that's your dad? That's, that's my dad. He founded the company in 1946. Uh, mm -hmm. He and his brother Guy started, and uh, the first location was at 126 Bill, and their dad loaned them $125 to uh, go in business. And uh, the store, they, uh, they found it, a man was murdered in there, so uh, that was one reason they found that location on Bill Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, it was a ladies' a resale. Was re it the Plush Club? No, no, no it wasn't the Plush Club, no. Okay, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was... Uh, <laughs> It was a ladies uh, resale, re, re thrift shop. Okay. And uh, as soon as my dad saw it, he came in there, in my dad's words, he said, This ain't me. Yeah. So the brothers threw all the merchandise on the street, and within hours, everything was gone. But. Well, well let me ask okay. you this. Okay. When did Elvis find the store? When did he start? Well, Elvis found there? the store in uh, 1953. My dad outfitted him for his first uh, junior senior uh, prom, uh, uh, Humes High School. He fit him. Outfit him with a nice uh, pink uh, jacket and a pretty pair of black uh, black slacks for the prom uh, at uh, at the Peabody, which we are located in the Peabody right now. And so, did he continue to shop there he, after he became Elvis? Yeah, Elvis was our good goodwill ambassador. Uh, wherever he went, he he said he shopped at Lansky's on Famous Bill Street. Is that right? Uh, right. Uh -huh. and, and one of the stories in here, Ernie, is uh, uh, my dad saw this young man looking in our showroom windows. And he asked, uh, he didn't know it was Elvis. He said, come on in, young man. And Elvis said, Mr. Lansky, I don't have any money, but one of these days I'm going to come in and buy you out. And uh, my dad said, Elvis, don't buy, buy me out, just buy from me. And that's what started their uh, uh, friendship for many years. Is that right? Uh -huh. So he, did, did he continue to shop there he, throughout the years? He, he did. He was, uh, he was very loyal. And, uh, uh, you know, when Elvis didn't have any money, my dad loaned him or gave him credit for uh, some of his shows on Louisiana, Hayride, um, the Ed Sullivan Show. We gave him the first jacket uh, for the Ed Sullivan Is Show. Is that and, right? Uh, that's, and and that's Elvis, uh, ever, Elvis never forgot my dad's generosity, and he's uh, paid it back uh, tenfold, tenfold. So, so now, now Elvis had a very identifiable look. I mean, he was right. a slick dresser and that. So, so is that the Lansky look well, we, or is that the Elvis look? Well, right? we, we like to take credit for, uh, of course you for, do. for young Elvis <laughs> when he was young and innocent. Uh, right. In the fifties, uh, my dad, uh, if, if you notice this picture right here, uh, flipped his collar and it's not a day that goes by now that somebody doesn't come in the store and wants their collar flipped by my dad or one of our staff. But, uh, yeah, we like to take credit for, uh, for that. And, uh, in the fifties, uh, men did not wear pink. And we also like to take credit for the colors, uh, the black and pink colors of the 50s. We, we feel I, that to find the colors of the 50s. I, I still don't wear pink. Well, uh, but let, <laughs> let, let me ask you this. So Elvis is the ambassador for the store, and I know some guys who only shop at certain uh, places. Uh, did he then bring, did other stars and other people that he touched come, come to Lansky's? They, they did. I mean, we had all of them, Johnny Cash. Uh, oh, wow. Um, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, B.B. King, Roy Orbison, they all shopped, at, shopped with us. And, uh, um, you know, on, on Beale Street, we, were, we, were, we had some outlandish fashions, and people wanted those fashions to set them apart on the, on the stage and on, on TV. So now, what, now where, did you, where did you get the ideas for the clothes? Or did you guys just get them in from somewhere? Or, uh, and, and everybody's style was a little different. You didn't try well, to make them all no, the same. No, at first, uh, they, they went to markets in New York and Los Angeles, brought in uh, different things. And then as, as time... Uh, go, went by, they uh, developed different uh, things for Elvis and some of the other stars. Johnny Cash, I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, Johnny Cash one day brought in a uh, Prince Albert tobacco can into the store. And uh, he said, Mr. Lansky, I want to I look just like this guy, the Prince Albert guy on the can. And uh, we like to take credit for addressing the man in black because uh, my dad went upstairs. We had a formal wear uh, tuxedo rental at the time. We brought him down some, uh, some long black tail, long coat, and the black hickory striped pants. And uh, that's what started uh, Johnny Cash on his way to be calling the man in black. Got some of these good stories in this book? We do, we do. All right, the Lansky brothers, clothier to the king. Uh,
the lance. Uh, that's an amazing. That's, that's great. Right, and we're located in the in the lobby of the Peabody. We're only is uh, that where you can get the book, or is right? It right, or you, you can call our website www.lanskybros.com or call us uh, at the Peabody. But uh, we're at the Peabody. We've been there since they reopened, and uh, uh, we love being a part of Memphis, uh, downtown Memphis especially. Good talking to you. Thank you, Ernie. Some fun been, stories. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. I have to Thank read you. through that. One. Thank you. All right. Well, coming up on Good Morning Memphis.